Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Welcome back to my youtube channel and meet again with me Uswatun Hasana I'm a student of Agribusiness Study Program Faculty of Agriculture University of Trunojoyo Madura with study number 36 I made this video to complete my final examination from Mrs. Resti Prastika Destiarni, the lecture of dry land management. In this video, I will discuss about scientific paper that I have made with title Technique of Intercropping Upland Rice with Sweet Corn on Dry Land as a Sustainable Agriculture Effort. Come on and listen till end. The intercropping system is a planting system which combines two or more commodities in one land with plant spacing according to crop condition and can be done simultaneously or alternately. There are several advantages of using this system, including simplifying maintenance, reducing the risk of crop failure, saving in the use of production facilities, and being able to increase the efficiency of land use. Many types of plants can be planted with an intercropping system. But the combination of plants that are usually planted with an intercropping system is legume and cereal. Because these two types of plants have a positive effect on the development of other plants. One example is the upland rice and sweet corn, which rice and corn itself are the staple foodstuff of the Indonesian people. Sustainable agriculture is a system that is integrated between plant and animal production practices in a land and in the long term. Sustainable agriculture is also a movement in the agricultural sector that applies ecological, social, and economic principle. The application of the upland race and sweet corn intercropping technique is one of the efforts to support sustainable agriculture. This technique will provide higher efficiency than monoculture techniques because it can provide higher profits, more optimal land use, and can reduce the risk of crop failure. The development of this intercropping technique can support the creation of sustainable agriculture which has three pillars, namely social, economic, and ecological. But before that, we need to know about the resistance of upland race in dry land, the effect of intercropping technique on the growth of upland race and sweet corn, and the impact of the application of the upland race and sweet corn intercropping technique on supporting effort to create a sustainable agriculture so that it can run effectively and according to expectation. Upland rice is a rice commodity that can be grown on dry land. Farmers usually plant this upland rice in the third planting season or dry season and intercrop it with other crops. Several upland rice varieties that have the potential for development on dry land with an intercropping system include in Pagi 11, in Pari 24, and Situ Bagendit. These three varieties are types of amphibians that can be planted in rice field with dryland types. Also, there are many advantages that can be given. This intercropping technique still has drawbacks, including the possibility of nutrient competition when one plant becomes an active competitor for another plant, lack of sunlight due to lack of attention to plant spacing, and height difference planes or about paths that can disturb both plants at once. This will certainly affect crop productivity and crop yields. The method used in the preparation of scientific papers is a qualitative description method and the data used is 
secondary data obtained from reference in the form of research journal or case studies that have been done previously. The results of the study conducted show that upland rice is a type of dry rice but still requires water in this growth process in not much intensity. Upland rice can be planted in various types of soil so that the type of soil will not interfere with its growth. However, there are special criteria so that upland rice can grow optimally. In applying the technique of intercropping upland rice with sweet corn, several factors need to be considered namely the difference in plain hike where the mice plain is higher than that of upland rice. The unsuitable cropping arrangement will result in insufficient sunlight and cause etiolation. These intercropping techniques provide support for effort to create sustainable agriculture. However, in its application, good knowledge about planting formation Spacing, planting time, and maintenance is needed so that the intercropping techniques can provide maximum benefits. A note of the explanation from me, I apologize for all the mistakes or shortcomings. I hope this video is useful and thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.